Well, call it the ripple effect when a small idea can go on to create a whole lot of good. And that's exactly the story behind a successful new company started by some college students in North Canton and how they're reaching communities all across the world. Our three news contributor, Chris Webb, has more on Ripple water bottles. So I was in my second year of university when I decided to make this, this leap of faith. I just felt like I had to go all in. In 2020, East Canton native Joe Knopp was a student at Walsh University when he first thought about the world's water crisis. Little did he know, his curiosity would change thousands of lives. I laid in my college dorm room and thought of problems in the world that we could help solve. And growing up, I always heard my mom say, drink your water before getting up from the dinner table because there's kids that don't have that luxury on the other side of the world. And so I looked over at my roommate whose name's Chip and I said, Chip, do you think we could solve this problem? And he goes, no, Joe, you're, you're crazy. Somebody else would have already done this by now. And I researched, I learned that we could drill one well for about $8,000. And Joe made a plan. He realized that selling water bottles would give him enough to build a well, and he never looked back. Thus, Ripple was born. I didn't know where I was going to put the bottles. We didn't even have enough money for a warehouse, so these bottles were stacked to the, the roof in our dorm room. Got started selling them, and six months later, we, uh, we drilled the first ever modern solar-powered well for a remote village in Uganda. I headed off to a country where I'd never met anybody in person. Seeing those kids smiling faces and knowing that they're gonna have clean water because some kid in the dorm room decided to make a difference, it just, it blows my mind. Previously, they had gotten their water um, about two miles into the jungle. They don't have to do that anymore just because like, we sold bottles. That was two years ago, but today, Ripple has expanded into even greater heights. Since the first well, we came back, we grew the team, we've partnered with multi-billion dollar companies like Shimatsu Scientific Instruments. I mean, I, I even sent a cold email to the CEO of Coca-Cola and he answered us back. And I was like, oh my gosh, is this really happening? We've been able to give more than 50,000 people access to clean water so far. We've been able to run water into elementary schools, hospitals, orphanages. When I started Ripple, my goal was just to build one well by the end of the year, but the world answered and, and now we're at 20. And as Ripple continues to expand, Joe has plans for this international company to have a local imprint as well. Our goal is within the next five years to actually open our own manufacturing operations here in the U.S., uh, specifically in Maslin, Ohio. It's gonna create jobs um, and increase profitability so that way we can donate even more back towards funding more well projects. Now, if you are interested in purchasing a Ripple water bottle, we have more information on where to find them on WKYC.com.